Kia. Ka karanga aho Kia Denise Lee. Ke te whakamana au te reo Māori mō te kaupapa i tēnei wā. Uh, I really uh, appreciate the chance to take this call um, and would like to refer to one particular submitter, um, Madam Chair, uh, and a submitter that also represented another peak body, and that was the APIS, uh, which is the body, along with the NZ CEO, uh, the bodies that represent integrated schools here in Aotearoa, New Zealand. Um, they represent over 360 state integrated schools here in New Zealand, um, some 11% of all students that are in our education system. Um, as we will know that uh, back in 1975, under the Private Schools Integration Act, state integrated <laughs> schools were established. Um, this particular submitter, and I'd wish to thank Paul Ferris, who appeared before us as a committee, um, was very particular um, about what he wanted to see. And as a committee, and it's a real pleasure um, to be on the Education and Workforce Select Committee, um, we thought, um, especially those of us on this side of the House, thought he was very reasonable in that he didn't ask or request for an actual position on the Council. But what he did, um, though, was request um, that, a, that the council and the minister um, lock in knowledge and understanding of what it is that state integrated schools face when it comes to their partnership with the Crown. And of course, they were very particular about this piece of legislation seeing an opportunity um, to, to progress and move forward. Um, what, what Mr Ferris uh, raised is that um, while, the, while it's important that the council um, has at least one member um, that understands the principles, they want to see that the minister understands this as well. So this is a question that I have specifically for the minister. In fact, I've got two. Um, one is how will the minister address the valid concerns of Mr Ferris and APIS and NZ CEO on how state integrated schools will be given regard, if not through a council position, which to be fair they didn't ask for, but through the minister having regard. Um, and my second question is, um, does current legislation, um, and I'll refer to um, actually, I, I um, retract that. It's not legislation, it's a memorandum of understanding between um, the uh, State Integrated Schools Association of Proprietors of Integrated Schools and the Crown. So, and this is a particular piece of documentation that <coughs> Mr Ferris presented us with. Does, how does the minister, how will he um, take into account that sort of documentation and MOU and warrant, um, how will he warrant more specific attention to the needs of state integrated schools? What, um, what Mr Ferris specifically was wanting to know um, was if there was one member that had specific regard to um, what they have to go through in terms of uh, their partnership with the Crown, that person, and we can't guarantee that as the, as the bill is proposed, that there will be a person, once the council is fully elected under the new regime, that there will be a person that has state integrated school knowledge um, to the degree of knowing specific rules of knowing and being able to understand when to take specific actions, um, and also when uh, that particular council member or council members, it would be great to have more than one, would have knowledge of the principles and the legal requirements under which state schools need to operate. So these are the principles. Uh, these are the valid concerns that were raised to us by this particular submitter. And I repeat again that I would uh, very much appreciate the minister being very clear about how these valid concerns will be addressed um, given the very reasonable um, request that uh, they not have an actual council member, but that the minister can prove that there will be regard to their particular um, uh, requirements as uh, laid out in their partnership between Crown and proprietors. So, uh, Madam Speaker, um, in fact, 
Te kai whakahaere. I really appreciate the Minister addressing those concerns. Ka karanga a hau ki a Sarah Dowie. Thank you very much, Madam Chair, for an opportunity to join in the call.